Hello, in this Steam Deck gameplay video, I'm going to show you Simpsons Hit and Run using the PC SX2 emulator. And it can run at 30 frames and 60 frames, it works great both ways. So, just recommend a 60. So, just a little thing if you, you know, have some sort of issue where you get like square texture outlines on certain objects in the game, if you have this issue, it's a pretty easy fix. Just go to your settings. So, I'm going to go to Escape. And so this is using the same settings as a set of video with this one minor little change. Go to config, graphic settings, and where it says blending accuracy, set that to minimum. And if your say is none, because on some versions it says none, just set it to none. Basically set it to the lowest version. I'm gonna keep it as is because I think it's okay. But if you do get that, you know, square texture outline issue, like a white outline. That's how to fix it. Okay, apart from that, I mean it works it runs fine. So let me resume and let, let me show you some gameplay now. Make sure you got volume. Right, Marge. <laughs> Only Lisa left for school without a science project. Ooh, Lisa can't go to school without a science project. Special Valentine's Day lunch day, apparently, for Springfield Elementary. Let's get out of here. Well, I did hit a person.
Surprise all the stuff just isn't in home with garage. Come here, stupid Flanders. An older boy told me to do it. <laughs> to try and drive away. Now let's drive around a bit and hit some people. Come out of this, or the bees over here. Oh, yeah, another thing <laughs> I forgot to mention is actually, no, you don't need to do it in this game. I was gonna say widescreen, but they're not that set in this game. In a bunch of games, they're at days, but not this one. Okay, so. I mean, that's really it. As you can see, Simpsons Hit and Run works really well. 
using the PCSX2 emulator and if you like the video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button let me know what game you would like to see tested next in the comments there's a link in the description to a steam compatibility list that i'm compiling where you can see all the best settings and all the games at a quick glance so feel free to check that out and i'll see you in the next video bye bye